Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and came into our first court day. Von Karma was shot by an unknown gunman, and so Edgeworth has taken up the reins in the prosecutorial role. I don't even know if that sentence made sense grammatically, but we're rolling with it. And we went through Gumshoe's testimony, and now we're going to get to see another witness, because Edgeworth isn't satisfied with winning... Just from presenting evidence, I guess. He also needs to bring in another witness. Anyways, it's time for us to go ahead and begin this. Bailiff, please bring in the next witness. What in the world is Mr. Edgeworth thinking? What is he thinking? I'm, I kind of forget about this part. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Witness, your name and occupation Ugh! <laughs> G-O-T-C-H-A. Yeah, that's how you spell it. Ugh! I wonder what happened to that calm composure he had earlier. Already, boy! It's been, what, a year since we last met, hasn't it? You should be more happy to see me. I saw the report with her testimony. But who knew that under that helmet, it was the Wicked Witch of the Witness Stand? I tell you, this time I know what I'm supposed to do. So today, I'm going to tell you anything and everything. Even the things that don't have to do with a terrible crime. Miss... Witness... That terrible crime is this court- is all this court needs to know. Oof! Shush! I'm talking to my dear Edgy Wedgy right now. Don't interrupt us, Gramps. Y yes madam. No, 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 no. Please, by all means, interrupt her. Please. <clears throat> anyway, witness, your testimony, please. It's true what they say that youth are hot-headed nowadays. Not that I mind at all, Edgy. Now then, what should I start with? The witness was on security detail at the hotel on the night of the murder. Is this correct, Miss Oldbag? It was a great job being able to see my dear Juan. It was almost too much for my heart to handle. You mean, you were a fan of the victim? Look, everyone is crazy over that on guard saying he's cute in a fresh way or something. But not me. I wouldn't say anything so silly. After all, I have no interest in a little child like him. I'm only interested in the real man, Juan Corrida. Um, but those two were the same age. Anyway, as I was saying... I was pa I was pacing in front of his room that night. Very well. Please tell the court what you witnessed the night of the murder. Leave it to me, Edgy Poe. It's kind of funny to think that the last time Edgeworth was the prosecutor in a case was the case with Miss Oldbag. Now later they would retcon that, but. Uh, from what we've played here on the channel so far, that was the last time Edgeworth was the prosecutor. Because, you know, he wasn't the prosecutor in the first three cases of this game, and in the fourth case of the last game, uh, Von Karma, the other Von Karma, was the prosecutor. Alright, Old Bag's testimony. Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around in the hallway in front of his room. There was something I was interested in finding out, you know. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. That's when someone showed up. It was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. He was on guard. Mad on guard. He was trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. Hmm. So Mr. On Guard came out from the victim's room. See? It has to be him. He's the murderer. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Alright. Ceremony paced around in front of his room. Miss Oldbag, what was your post on that night? In the lobby. I was supposed to help set up the stage for that trifling show. But I refused to help. I'll have you know. It was for that le lead-headed samurai show. Heh, I even took out a few of the nails. Maybe it was a good thing the show didn't go on. 
Besides, that manager with the glasses seemed to be working hard at it without me, so I thought I'd take a break and spread my wings a little. And that's when you went to hang around the victim's door? Something I was interested in finding out, you know. Something you were interested in? And just what was that? It was not some little thing I can just go around telling everyone, you know. It's top secret between me and Juan. Ah, and Edgy, of course. Mr. Edgeworth, what is this thing she was interested in? I have no idea. I despise gossip, Your Honor. Gossip? If this has something to do with the case, then you can append it to your testimony. Looks like we shouldn't force it right now. Hmm. And did the witness stay in the vicinity of the victim's door the entire time? I was on the job and made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. Oh? Then would you tell us the number of people who went in and out of Mr. Carita's room? I have no idea. I wasn't born so I can count things for those who didn't pay attention in class. That's why ever since I turned 20, I quit keeping track of how old I really am. Yes, well, that would explain why your age was not recorded in the report. In any case, the witness then saw someone, correct? That's when someone showed up. It was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. Who in the world was that? I'm not allowed to say. This sort of information has to be carefully guarded from the mess masses, Sonny. The man that came out of Juan's room. It was... He... Was... Yes, he was. I'm too scared, I can't say his name out loud. No, oh, what I wouldn't give to have Francisca's whip right about now. Well, I guess I can tell you since he was such a bad boy anyway. It was on guard, mad on guard. He was trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. You saw my client. Are you sure about that? Yes, he. Really? Annoying brat, when I say I saw someone, I saw that person. When I get the sense of deja vu, maybe to avoid a mess like last year, I should delve into this a bit further. With this, we want to talk about the person's clothes, because if you'll remember the Steel Samurai case, a big point was that Old Mac was like, Oh, it was Powers, he did it. But in reality, it was just someone wearing Will Powers' uh, Steel Samurai costume. Please tell the court about the man's clothes in more detail. What a troublesome man you are, really, as if something like that matters. But it does. Um, now what was it? Oh yes, it was that thing. What thing? That gaudy thing he's always wearing, that racing jacket. Ah, uh, he was wearing that at the detention center too. That thing's meant for nothing but seducing women out of their pantaloons. <laughs> men. Um... Right. So, Mr. Wright, was this testimony just now important or relevant in any way? Huh. Surprisingly, it was very important. Of course it was important, Your Honor. Then perhaps you would like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Don't you see it, Edgeworth? Your Honor, I request what the witness said about the jacket be appended to her testimony. Hmm, I don't quite see where you're going with this, but all right, witness. Please. Oh, well, I don't like to badmouth anyone without reason, but if I must. He was wearing his flashy racing jacket. Honestly, it's all just for show. Are you sure the defendant was wearing a racing jacket? What do you think? It's not like I've seen him in anything other than that horrible thing. I'm sure he was wearing it. She's so sure of herself that it's to the point of self-absorption. She may not remember things or be mistaken here and there, but I don't think she's lying. That's bad for us. Really bad. But that's how the human mind is. It also has the tendency to jump off topic. She's strayed onto a few interesting side topics this time too, hasn't she? But that's what makes her a sweet old lady, right? That's because you're not the one who has to question her. So the solution for this one is to first press this statement about 
uh, what she found interesting. Then press the statement about on guard, ask about the clothes, get the new statement, and for this one, we want to go ahead and present the button because, as previously stated, this button comes from un Unguard's Hakama, which doesn't make sense if he was wearing his racing jacket. Objection. Miss Oldbag. What? Don't say my name for no reason. Do you know what this is? Ah, it's button number two on the Jammin' Ninja's costume. Now I know she's an obsessed fan. She identified it at a simple glance. Give it here, give it here. If you don't ha give it to me, I'll punish you with this. Wow, she really is a die-hard fan to want a button covered in blood. This button was discovered on Mr. Ungard's body during a full body search. See, see, this button proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it was that rascal Ungard. It was caught up in the pleats of his nickel samurai Hakama pants. See, see, and Ungard is the nickel samurai. Witness. Now it may just be me. And I do have an active imagination. But just now, didn't you say that the defendant, Matt Ungard, was wearing his usual racing jacket? Ah, I'm so sorry. Sorry that you judge people based on what they wear. If I wore the trendiest dress, then maybe you'd think I was... Holy crap, that went on for a while. Now hold your tongue still there for one second. So what you saw in actuality was not Mr. Ungard, the man. But Mr. Ungard, the Nickel Samurai? But when you think about it... They're really one and the same anyway. Miss Oldbag, this is a very important point we're talking about. Edgy Poo, do you think so too? Well, it might be something worth thinking about. Just say it's important and agree with me for a change. Witness, think carefully and try to remember as much as you can before you testify. Ah, alright, if you insist. I should be the one sighing, not you. On guard, on guard. Yes, now I remember. The Nickel Samurai, that's right. It was the Nickel Samurai that I saw. Yes, it would have been inconvenient for him to wear his costume during the murder. He had to go to the post-ceremony stage show right after the crime, you know. So he must have worn that Nickel Samurai costume when he was stabbing poor Juan. I... I knew it. I knew you'd say he was inside that costume. What? Did you think there could have been someone else inside that costume? Don't be a bad little boy, thinking such rude things. But... but the possibility does exist. Ah, youngins today. I told you there's no way it was anyone else. How do you know that? Because I said so, and what I say is the truth. At least she's just as delightful as the witness as she was a year ago. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. All right, back to press and everything. Would you please get on your with your testimony? Hmph. Watch your language, young man. What sort of tone is that to take with an elder? My youthfulness isn't what it used to be, so you should forgive me for everything. If you keep on barking at me like that, I'll start sh singing at the top of my lungs. Uh, what? A striking figure by the sea, standing all alone is he. He's the Neko Samurai. She's actually singing. Someone help my poor ears. Mr. Edgeworth, can you please do something about this racket? Witness, I'll give you a piece of gum later if you'll be good and stick to just the facts. Okay! You promise, right? Right. I'll be sending the bill for the chewing gum to your office at a later date. Remind me to send you a thank you note later too, Edgeworth. Old chum. Nickel Samurai, that's right. It was the Nickel Samurai I saw. I think you actually get an achievement in the trilogy port for pressing this. Be a little more careful with your testimony, please. 
Not too long ago, you said he was wearing the, his racing jacket, and now he's not? Not too long ago. And let me ask you this, when you were itty bitty, when w what was your grand dream? Huh? What did you want to be when you grew up, whippersnapper? My dream, huh? Well, I, uh, wanted to be Judge Wackner here over the public's court. So what? See? And look where you are now, you're not Judge Wackner, are you? Are you? Well... What I said earlier, who puts any weight into things like that? The now is everything, I can't be held responsible for the past. Since when did court become theatrics over testimonies? All that matters is that man was inside the costume, isn't that enough? Yes, it would have been convenient for him to wear his costume during the murder. And why would that be? That way, no one else could see his face, of course. But there's still no advantage for him that I can see. In fact, you would think the costume would make him stand out all the more. You are such an annoying child, you know that. You disagree with everything I say. Isn't that what you're always doing to me? I got it. Maybe it was more troublesome for him to change in and out of his costume. He had to go to that post ceremony stage show right after the crime, you know. Is there anyone else scheduled to appear at the post ceremony show? Well, all the content contestants were supposed to go on stage in a friendly gesture thing. And that included the German ninja? Of course it included him. That's why when On Guard came out of Dear Wan's room, I didn't give it a second thought. Hmm, I see. Well, anyway. So he must have worn that nickel samurai costume when he was stabbing poor Wan. So let me ask you one last time. The person you saw, it, was, it really was the nickel samurai. As shall we as ever. Haven't I been saying that from the very beginning? Can I throw in the towel yet? Huh. Don't need to think too hard on this one. Huh? There's a contradiction in your testimony and it's sitting in plain sight. The question is what that contradiction means for us. Well, I have to figure out what you're talking about first, but okay. Alright, we're back to the very beginning of the testimony. And I think this is probably a good place to end things off. This is a bit of an awkward spot to stop, but we've got a solid chunk of stuff ahead of us, and I can't wait to cover that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!